and today I'm with my friend Colin who's just setting up. Uh, I think we're going to try and get some perch out or any other fish. So we're going to try different things today so that's why I say different fish. But I want to catch some good perch today like last video. So let's do this. <laughs> I've got that I'm using, uh, just use it down in literally in two minutes. It looks like a tiny, tiny pike. I think this should do the job. Never used it before. Nice right, try. We just got to this swim where we caught a perch that's I'm in Aaron. And well, in a few minutes, there's a little pike that come out for my plug. So, a good sign, good sign. Go keep trying. Using lures now and spinners, and we've got our dead baits. So, you know, I think we've got more of a chance now. Here's my 12 pound line I've been using recently my three piece rod, triple hook, and wire trace. Hello, oh guys, just caught a um, five pound dead on pike. I was on gudging, and he probably got a pretty good fight and snag, but eventually got him. Let's put him back now. Look at that straight away guys. Sitting down there, you can't really see him on the camera. I can only just see him through my glasses. He's really hard to see. But nice five pound, proper fight. Well done. Look at the mouth and that thing. Nice one to Colin, it was just over three pound. Nice fish. Let's get this guy back now. A little bit of time since me and Colin got our pike. Not much action now. I mean, there was one small pike at the top, but we weren't interested. And it has been quite hot for them today. So, you know, maybe it's not the day, but we're gonna still keep having a little go, and I will record tom tomorrow. So, best of luck to us. I call it a day now. Um, yeah, we've had nothing more. No action or anything, but you know I'll probably try tomorrow to try and make this a better vid. Um, yeah, it's like another pike vid. Two pike. I wanted to catch a perch, but oh, well, I didn't. So let's see how I do tomorrow. Six pound pike. We thought it looked bigger, but no, apparently it's six. I don't know if you see him, but he's down there. Uh, no, you probably can't see him. Yeah, just a nice pike. Pike I had earlier. Uh, we've had nothing else since. But now we're just going to go for a little fish again. We're on the bottom using ledgers with maggots. So if we can catch, we don't know. So yeah, yesterday we got gudgeon, and that's how I caught my pike on. But yeah, we're going to see if ledger works. Does that's great. Well, like I said, we haven't really caught anything now for a while. <laughs> Liam's there, and let's get Aaron in there as well. Um, yeah, we might call it a day now, and it's quite early. But you know, if we d did catch something else, we'll show you. Uh, this was the gudgeon that we have. Oh, Liam, I might go for chub. So that'd be good, something different. Because this video is sort of different species. I'm not going to one of my smallest pikes. About pounds. That is tiny. But hey, uh, we did catch some of it. Look at that. So it's after. Right. Ooh. Got a little bite there. Looks yeah. like a scar now. But you put up a good fight. And let's get this guy back. Hi, it's a new day, our third day, or sort of my third day, so I couldn't really talk yesterday. Anyway, so this video is basically, I don't know why I'm saying it halfway through, but basically we're going for different species today. So I've already caught pike, gudgeon, I'm, I didn't record the gudgeon that I caught, it, I don't know, I didn't think it was that worth recording. If you want to see me catching gudgeon, go check out my other videos if you haven't. It'd be nice to get some more perch, but... 
you know, we didn't. So, today we are using bread and worms. Yep. And, want to catch some good chub today, even some nice roach. So, that's the aim for today. So this video is basically mixed species. Something a bit different. The skies are looking beautiful for us today, so I reckon it's going to be a great day. Got my polarised glasses all set. These are pretty good. Just definitely get some. Anyway, let's go to the fishing. The float, I've been using this clear one. Well, pan line that I've been using in previous videos. I've got four size four weights. Finish off, I think. This is probably about size 12 hook. I'm not sure because it doesn't. I've got mixed hooks, so yeah, I'm guessing it's about that. And here is my three-piece carp rod I use. So the bait I'm starting off for today is bread, mainly for because I know the chub down here they love the bread, and obviously big roach are around. So this little ball of bread, they'll go mad for it. Hopefully the kitchen won't come out as well. Although they probably will. Roach marron, and was that on one marron? Yep. Tied yeah, a bit of worm. Look at that. Straight away, very nice roach. They're here and big chub here as well. So let's keep going. Worm works again because Aaron just got a chub. So he dropped it down there. It's about the same size as the roach. But I was just about to show you and it dropped out of Aaron's hand. But oh well, if we catch another one, we'll try and show it. I'll put this one back now. Nice chub just got in, maybe under a pound, half a pound maybe. But such a nice one on worm, so that's what's working. Put this one back now. Look at that. That is what I call a nice fish. Aaron just got another small chub, a bit like my small roach. And yes, it come off the hook, but still count because he had it in his hand. He needs to get a firmer grip with the chub. <laughs> Just caught another chub, not as big this time, but it's a nice one. I'm worm again. Let's get this guy back. There he is, just going down there. And just swam down there. So it is where we're fishing now. It's a little bit deeper there, but that's where I've caught my last and only free fish at the moment. It really pays off. I mean, the fish just love it. You can see when they've just sucked it all out, and it's pretty much dead. They just love it chub and the roach exactly what we're aiming for and that's exactly what we're getting let's get back to fishing Aaron just dropped he has a small roach within like what five seconds yeah pretty much yeah you gonna put him back now yep let's disturb my side yep and that was on worm once again Got a roach again off we go very nice roach from Aaron here Beautiful, let's put this one back. We got another about 12 ounces actually weighed this one. This chub, very nice. Put this guy back now. How beautiful that is. Just caught a very nice chub in a different spot. But we've gone to wire trace now, triple hooks, and we're using crayfish. What we caught earlier whilst trying to go for the chub and roach. Uh, don't worry, we have taken the claws and legs and that off, so we'll be safe for the pike. Aaron just lost a nice big pike just a few minutes. So maybe the crayfish would be a new thing to use. Lost the pike about three or four pound, just down here, got it on crayfish. I ate it and I had it right near the net and where the hook got caught the net. Yeah, the fish came off. But oh well. It's good to know that the pike are actually feeding on crayfish. I'm going to try to catch another one because I would like to show some more pike with crayfish. Aaron just lost his down there. What he caught on crayfish. So the pike, like crayfish, something different and cheaper bait. But Aaron, he's actually landed the pike. Very nice gold one this one. On crayfish, for just over four pounds. Uh, he's going to put that now. Look at that belly. Nice Lost another very nice one, and the same thing happened with the hook on the net. Oh well, just, we're going to keep trying. I'm a bit annoyed, but you no, know, at least we know some good pike coming up to crayfish again. 
calmed down a bit now since uh, I lost my pike. Thanks, Aaron. Just kidding. Um, but we could, you know, like I always say, we're gonna keep trying. Might move swim soon, but we've been lucky to have pike with the crayfish. Never tried it for first time, and this worked, so that's good. And how we actually got the crayfish when we was fishing the chub and roach earlier with the worm, we was getting there's so many crayfish, and I thought, why not use them? So they've come in handy, and I think Aaron's just trying on the claw right now. See, so there he is with a claw. Just looking at Orange Perk. I try to rest from the pike now. Uh, just size 18 hook, small float. I've used the same setup in uh, previous videos. And just going for small fish, take a rest from the pike. And down there, I just lost a nice little rope. Right. 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 It's been a good day today. Good two days. Pike, gudgeon, chub. Roach and rud. So, different species. Thought it'd be good for the video, it's like a bit different. No perch again, sadly. But, you know, let's see what next video is like. Good two days. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>